Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wendy. Okay. So I am. God is girding up my loins. And he is strengthening me. And I am continuing on. So I want to tell you what I heard this morning. When I woke up. I was actually, actually already awake. And I found myself saying these words. These words said, Won't you extend your mercy a little longer and delay your judgment upon this land? And I was thinking to myself, where did those words come from? Because I know they didn't come from me. And then the Father started working with me on, um, when, after I went into prayer, He started telling me about scriptures, too, which I'm going to share with you. And about his mercy about his wonderful and awesome mercy for his children he wants no one to perish our God wants no one to perish our God wants everyone saved and to go into his marvelous and wonderful kingdom everlasting and to be with him forever okay um, the scripture that he pointed me to is and he told me there will be no transcript for this message for he wants everyone to hear whoever comes to this video to hear it what he has to say to his children so I'm going to begin reading Jeremiah 18 the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying arise and go down to the potter's house and there I will cause thee to hear my words then I went down to the potter's house And behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it? If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. And at what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant it, if it do evil in my sight, that it obey not my voice, Then I will repent of the good, wherewith I said I would benefit them. Now therefore go to, speak to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you, and devise a device against you. Return ye now every one from his evil way, and make your ways and your doings good. So that is one of the scriptures. The other one is Second Chronicles 7.14. And I didn't get it ready again. Hold on. Second Chronicles 7.14. Okay. And I believe everyone's probably heard this one. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven 
and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Those are the two scriptures that he wanted me to say. And the the um, funny thing is, I was reading this last night, Jeremiah, the same scripture that he gave me today. It's, um, as you think deeper into everything that's going on, th- these are the latter days. We know we were in the, we are in the last days of time from all the warnings that he has given us. And so, I guess I had gotten into this frame of mind that no matter what, it's going to happen when he says it's going to happen. But folks, I have to, I think he wants to tell us about his mercy. His wonderful mercy. That's why he had me read Jeremiah 18. It's at the point. It's at that very point. If we repent and fall on our knees, and ask for forgiveness for all of our wicked sins all of our wicked ways and ask for forgiveness I believe that if enough of us fall upon our knees and ask for his mercy that he would give mercy his mercy endureth forever I think that's another thing he wanted me to say it doesn't matter what time period we are in his mercy endureth forever and he can have mercy as long as he chooses to have mercy and his mercy is his great love for all of his children So I wanted to say what he wanted me to tell you and now um, he also wanted me to mention that there was a message he gave me last night around midnight and he wanted me to tell you what it was called for it is delayed now this message it was called Jacob's Trouble So he wanted me to tell you that. Uh, he he won't be releasing that message yet. And here's his message from today at 1.01 p.m. Daughter of Zion, write your merciful father Yahweh's words for my people to hear. Children of the land, Hear my words this day. We are at the most pivotal point in all of man's history. I have given my daughter many things that she has talked about with you. My mercy endureth forever. My mercy is for the love of my creation. However, my mercy is for who I want it to be for. I shall withhold my mercy whenever I choose. I am a loving and caring God. God Jehovah Elohim desires no one to perish, my children. I am letting the people decide for themselves. Judgment comes, however, it can be delayed even at this late hour. If I see broken and repentant hearts, my heart pours out through my son. If you only knew the love that God Jehovah Elohim has for all of his creation. I gave my daughter the scripture for you. Repent, repent repent get on your knees and mourn and lament and ask for complete forgiveness I am giving my people this chance right now I am holding out my loving mercy children all the inhabitants of the earth know there was something coming I am the great I am and I hold everything in my very capable and strong hands consider carefully what Father God Yahweh is saying to you this day my people will either deter judgment or bring it upon their heads. 
Father God, Yahweh, Elohim, has spoken. Father, thank you for your wonderful mercies. Your tender mercy is renewed every day. Please, Father, let enough people come to their knees in complete brokenness and repentance. And repent, repent, repent. I love you, Father. I love you, Father. I love your precious Son. And I love your beautiful Holy Spirit. In King Yeshua's precious name, Amen and Amen.